Welcome to another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. I'm your host, Ramon Roan, and this is brought to you by Judicial Freedom Riders. You can visit us at www.jfrinc.org. Our organization, co-founded by myself and John Singletary, our mission is to create fairness in our justice system. We all know that our justice system is not fair. Title of this segment is Watch Out Who You Date. Particularly men. Watch Out Who You Date. Read an article recently by uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins and I love his take, his position on many things and um, he wrote, wrote some five things you should watch out for when you're dating certain women. Now one of those things is uh, that you must be a man. I'm glad he said that because um, that means that men should date women, not men. Um, the second thing he wrote, um, he, he said was um, avoid women who are being, being violent towards you. Now, that can be a very bad problem. Because some of these women, they kind of want to be, um, they're in night competition. And if you mess around with a woman that is ready to fight, not just with you, but against you, you got to be careful. Like she want to hit. Uh, look, when a woman decides that she needs to uh, communicate with me through violence, it's time for her to go. No, you know, return to sender. Return to sender. Let her go. That's a red flag for you. Because you don't want to be caught up in a situation where, oh, she hits you. Guess what? It could be an automatic type of, um, not even playing around. Automatic type of like, hey, I didn't even know what I did. I mean, she hit me and it was a natural reflex for me to hit her back. Men shouldn't hit women. That's the bottom line. We shouldn't hit women. But when a woman hits a man, like a man, it's time for her to go. If you can control yourself, go. Because the police are not going to take your side. First of all, you're a black man. And you got a, you got a bullseye on your back and your front. <laughs> so it's time for her to go. You need to choose the right woman who you're going to be with. Another one is, a, is um, if the situation gets out of control, detach yourself immediately. If you feel that you have a temper and you feel that this woman is getting on your last nerve, and guess what, brother? Step away. As a matter of fact, step far away. You don't want to deal with no woman that, that just she can just piss you off just like that. You don't need to deal with that. You know, hey, there's one thing about having a passion. But when his passion comes into violent, look here, get away from that woman. She ain't no good. I don't care how fine she is. And by the way, there are a lot of beautiful women, but they hell to deal with. No offense. Hey, there are a lot of good looking men out there, but they are hell to deal with. When you're dealing with a woman that is like she's violent or, um, or she can really get you on your last nerve, Hey, walk away. Because if she should call the police, guess who's going to jail? You are. He said, beware of, of drugs and alcohol. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm glad that I don't drink or smoke or do any type of drug. But I don't even like women that, that drink. I mean, that, that do drugs or drink. Maybe, drink. maybe a little wine or whatever, but... When some people, they start drinking, well, a different person emerges. And that person there can really create some trauma for you. I mean, you can look on, do a Google search for drunk women, and you'll see what we're talking about. Stay away from, not even for a night. They're not worth it. Not even for a night. You wake up the next morning, she'll cry rape. <laughs> Avoid women who might um, lie or threaten you to do so. Look, 
if she'll lie um, for you, she can lie on you. And uh, you, know, you don't want no lying woman. The only lying woman that you want is when she's lying down. That's it. But you don't want a, a lying woman. Um, no, because what will happen is that she can lie. Uh, she can, and, and some people, hey, some people, men and women, they are good liars. Convincing liars. And um, that can have your behind incarcerated. And you're like wondering, what happened? I thought it was a big booty and a smile. Yeah. And a lie that puts your behind in jail. And the last thing we need is more African American men in jail. So, um, this has been another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. Um, please visit our website at www.jfrinc and become a member um, of our organization. Again, that is www.jfrinc.org. Become a member for $36 a year. It's, it's tax deductible. And you can help us. Your membership will help us um, create more fairness in our justice system. Our corrupt justice system need to be exposed from top to bottom. Please subscribe to our channel. And until the next time, stay safe. <laughs>